Lord de Sade, I've been hoping you would come. Your Excellency, I heard news of the attacks against Hikmet. We have had our differences, but none can deny your incredible efficiency. You must surely know that were we not desperate, I would not trouble you with them. I'm listening. Animals, creatures, have been attacking us relentlessly. They throw themselves upon our defenses day and night. They do not even try to avoid our weapons, rushing as if to swamp us in infinite numbers. Our best soldiers fall exhausted from fatigue. The others die shredded by their claws. Please find the origin of these attacks and make them stop. If we cannot hold out, the entire population of Hikmet will be devoured. I sent a small group of trackers so that they might follow the trail of the creatures. Their last message came from a dangerous area in the hands of natives. The savages are certainly at the root of these evil attacks. Who else could have trained all of these creatures? Could you indicate the zone in quest? Alas, no. I didn't get the information. You must meet their officer who will know how to guide you there. She's leading our troops in the outpost at the entrance to the city. Very well. I shall depart immediately. Be so kind as to keep me informed. This affair is driving me to madness. I would like to broach a rather unpleasant subject. Your treachery. I beg your pardon? I am at a loss for word. Have you forgotten that after sending me to save your savants that you then again sought my assistance? According to you, I needed only to convince the Tierna Hakadactus to provide us with a remedy. But you used me like a pawn, seeking in truth to capture her. I... I cannot understand why you are reacting in this way. I was certain that the witch doctor would refuse to help us. They have us marked down as enemies, after all. And I had good reason to believe that you would not resort to physical persuasion. You are even ready to use brute force against your own ally. Whatever do you mean? After wounding the Tiana, your spy attempted to kill me, Excellency. And you dare to tell me that my anger is exaggerated. Can I remind you that to assassinate a legate is to declare war against his sovereign? I never... I promise you that I had no intention for any harm to befall you. That man went beyond his orders, I assure you. I implore you, please accept my sincerest and profound apologies in the name of the Bridge Alliance. I can only give you the benefit of the doubt for now, Your Excellency. In the meantime, you need not keep a candle lit for the return of your spy. He paid for his audacity with his life. I... He would have been made to answer for such infamy, I assure you. Once again, I apologize sincerely for this crime. It should never have happened. In any case, we need to get our hands on this woman. The remedy is perhaps... There never was a remedy. It was a wild goose chase. Perhaps even some sort of machination. No. That... That is terrible. This is a great setback. How could I have been so naive? What a shame. I am truly sorry that you risked your life in vain. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I've taken care of your problem with the caravans. The merchant should now be able to reach Hikmet. Captain Rainhild has sent a message to... You have done a great service for me. I was told that you met these savages, and then they showed no mercy at all with your... The, ah, your my plan. We have the nate, I see, but a hat. But what might it, if that would you, capture? Would you like to speak? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell, my lord.
Desade, your excellency. I wanted to apologize for the sharp way I dismissed you the last time. That schemer who claimed to have proof against you never came back. At any rate, I have no doubt she weaved a web of lies. Well, I hope you will not hold it against us. I have to go. Farewell, my lord. Your ex- Lord Desade. And to what do I owe this honor? Farewell, my lord. Your Excellency. Lord Desade. And to what do I owe this honor? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you again. Farewell. Your Excellency, Lord Desade, and to... Farewell, my lord. Your Excellency, Lord Desade, and to what do I owe this honor? I have to go. Look forward to seeing you. Farewell, my lord. Your Excellency. Do I owe this honor? I have to go. Farewell, my lord.
are about to get dicey. You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Governor Burren sent me. He wants us to find a group of trackers. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody... But you wanted to ask me something? I must go. Goodbye, Your Excellency. You managed to make it through. A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Governor Burren sent me. He wants us to find a group of trackers. And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. I must go. Goodbye, Eric. You managed to make it through. 
A group of these enraged beasts managed to get past our defenses. Yes, we fought and defeated them. But how did they make it through? My men are exhausted. We killed some of them, but we were overrun. Our situation is getting more and more desperate. I don't suppose I need to warn you about the dangers of this road. Actually, that is why we're here. Governor Burren sent me. He wants us to find a group of track... And I hope that he'd sent you as reinforcements. Silly me. It looks like all we're good for is dying to protect his bloody city. But you wanted to ask me something. Like I said, Governor Burren is hoping that I can find a group of trackers, with your help. I'd like to see you try. Indeed, I was ordered to send out a party of scouts, which I did, despite our losses. They were supposed to find the bastard who's been sending us these critters. One of those savage sorcerers, no doubt. Can you tell me which way they went? Sorry, Your Excellency, I won't tell you anything until I receive some help. You have to understand, I hope that these men are alive. They are also under my command. But those who are here with me now are my main preoccupation. And as we speak, they're dropping like flies. Not to mention the fact that if this outpost falls, there won't be much left to protect the city. So you can go and tell... I understand that your situation is desperate. That you want to take care of what appears most urgent. But it's not simply about me saving a few men. It's about stopping these attacks once and for all. By getting to their root cause, I intend to put an end to it. And then any help you hope to receive won't be needed any longer. You're right. I'm sorry, these attacks have made me lose my nerve. I don't know what I'm saying. They went towards the west, where the rebels are most numerous. Are you talking about the Danea Exregal? If you like. The governor is certain that these savages are behind the attacks. So I sent my men to find their camp. This isn't the first time that we've tried to find them, but now our survival depends on it. I see. Well, thank you, Captain. I'll try to find your man and put an end to all this. Good luck. And if my men are alive, send them back here, will you? You can count on me. I must go. Goodbye, Captain. Goodbye, Your Excellency.
Who are you? What are you doing here? Are you the scout sent by the governor of Hickman? Can't you tell? He was worried that he wasn't getting any news from you and asked me to find you. He wants me to help him put an end to the attacks. Have you discovered anything? Yes. A camp of rebel savages. We suspected there was one around here, and we finally found it. They must be the ones sending us the beasts. They all come from this region, and these barbarians have sworn to eliminate us. So we... You may be right, but I'd rather be certain. I know the leader of this camp. I'll go talk to her. You... you knew of this camp? These savages are responsible for dozens of deaths, maybe hundreds. Why didn't you inform them? Because I'm a diplomat, not a scout. You should go back to the outpost now. I'll take care of all this. I wanted to speak to you about the assaults that Hikmed and its outposts have been sustaining. Assaults? We have nothing to do with it this time. My men are not ready to attack the bigs. They're not being attacked by men, but by beasts. Dozens of them. So, they are also attacking the Renaigse? That's a relief. What do you mean? The animals are attacking us as well. They throw themselves at any man crossing their path. As if they were enraged. They even throw themselves at the camp's defenses. I had never seen anything like it before. We need to find out what's making these beasts so aggressive before they overpower this part of the island. We? Oui. Do you want us to work together? Why shouldn't we? Don't you want this to stop too? That's true. Mal! Our guardian! He had changed! He is attacking our own! What? Come, follow me. Bit of poison on my blade.
I'm sorry. It left me no choice. You fought bravely, and you did what you had to do. Our Guardian had changed. It no longer recognized its children, and it was the one leading these beasts against us. Something really bad must have happened to it. It looks strange. As if it was sick. Guardians don't get sick. They are far more than beasts. And yet you and I saw the same thing. At last. The attack should stop now. What are you doing here? Who are these Renites, eh? Spies? They only came here to discover the source of the attack. And they thought we were responsible. Why are you still here? You should have gone... And then we heard cries. And saw the giant creature attacking their camp. And we realized that it was this creature who was leading the beast. And you discovered that we weren't to blame. Yes. Um, I'm really sorry. We should go back to the outpost now. But then, if we let them go, they'll tell their leader the location of our camp. You, are you prepared to swear that you will never speak of this place? You, you saved our comrades and maybe our city by killing this beast, so... Yes, we swear. I hope that they will be true to their work. Fine. They can go. We are extremely grateful. Thank you, Duren. Now, let's go tell the governor of Hikmet about this garden. Qua awalem se And if you find the one who's behind all this, kill him.
Your Excellency, have you been informed? I've been told, yes, that the attacks have ceased. Hikmet has been saved thanks to you. Was it the natives as I suspected? No, they were not the cause and were also victims of the attacks and their losses were great. The animals answered to the call of a guardian whose behavior was totally unlike the others. I've never seen anything like it. It was as if it were drunk, possessed by an unquenchable thirst for blood. These creatures normally protect the natives, answering their call. Why did this one attack them? Are you certain one tribe is not attempting to dominate the others? I don't think so. The Guardian looks sick. No native would treat such a creature like that. There is no doubt someone is behind these attacks. But currently, I have no idea who it might be. I suspect you will lead the investigation and unravel the mystery, as is your custom. While waiting, take this. It's nothing much, but consider it a gift to thank you for your help. Without you, the population of Hikmet would have suffered terribly. Thank you. I'm happy to have helped you avoid a massacre, Your Excellency. Would you like to speak with me about any other subjects? I have to go. Farewell, my lord. Sir de Sade, seeing you is a genuine relief. Your emissary informed us that you were in need of our help. Indeed. She must have told you that we were being attacked. We are sustaining the relentless assaults of furious animals, which some people believe to be sent by the demons of the island. Some people? So you're not certain that's the case? We were mistaken when we thought them responsible for the Malachor. I became more cautious. But no matter where these attacks come from, our men are becoming exhausted. One of our outposts to the east has sent us a distress message. They won't hold much longer. I beg you, you must go to their aid. Maybe they can help you find out where these beasts come from. I will go there and meet them. I hope to make it in time. I am infinitely grateful, Your Excellency. You have proved your efficiency many times already. I am certain you will put an end to this. I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency.
You shouldn't stay here. We're sustaining terrible attacks. The animals appear to be crazy. They already killed several of my soldiers. We are actually here to help you. Are you the backup? We were starting to lose hope. I must admit that I was praying for more soldiers, but any help is welcome. We're under attack every night, and we've already lost a lot of men. At this rate, we won't survive another night. Don't worry. We will do everything in our power to make sure that you do. You still have some time to prepare before these beasts attack again. All right, let's wait. Ready weapons? Fire! Succeeded. Bravo, soldiers. We have resisted. Thank you, Excellent. You shouldn't stay here. We're sustaining terrible attacks. The animals appear to be crazy. They... Thanks for your help. You are an extraordinary fighter. If it were for you, the outpost would have undoubtedly fallen tonight. If these attacks are always this violent, even with our support, it won't hold much longer. We must uncover the origin of these attacks. I've thought about it, and I sent a few men two days ago in the hope that they would find out where the attacks came from. And first and foremost, why they are attacking. But I haven't heard from them since. I'm afraid I might have sent them to their death. Could you at least tell me which way they went? I might be able to track them. They followed a trail going north of a place the natives call the Woods of Lightning. Thank you, officer. I will do everything in my power to find them. Until then, try to hold on. You be careful. Goodbye.
soldiers followed the path northeast from here. We should do the same. This man will die if we don't do something about it. What? What happened? You... You saved me. Thank you. Uh, I'd be dead if it weren't for you. Your officer sent us. He told us that you were looking for the origin of these attacks. Uh, and we found it. We followed the beast's trail, and, and it led us to a large glade east of here. You'll find raised stones there, the ones which are worshipped by the islanders. There was a, a, a creature there, a, a beast so large and so ferocious. I've, I've never seen anything like it. That's what must have been attracting the animals. We wanted to kill it, but it prevailed. All my comrades fell in battle against it. I fled. I had to inform the lieutenant. And you were right. Don't worry. We'll take care of it now. We took some notes, and, and we drew a map as we progressed. It, it may be of use to you. Everything is in that chest over there. Here. Take the key.
Bit of poison on my blade. Then let's go! This creature looks a lot like the one who is attacking Hikmet and seems to be afflicted by the same disease. I'm certain that a human is behind this epidemic. These creatures wouldn't attack in such a coordinated manner if someone wasn't leading them.
Your Excellency, it would seem that you and your family have kept your cloak of mystery. The envoy the Divesps were supposed to send never turned up, which is extremely impolite. Your Eminence, I'm afraid that family is not known for its dependability. I can attest to that. What a pity. We shared such a good relationship with them in Teleme. Anyway, what can I do for you? You are back. I hear there are no more attacks. Once again, your help was a blessing. Did our troops survive? There were some losses, but the outpost is still standing. And it's thanks to them that I was able to follow the creature's trail. The officer sent out a small party hoping that they would be able to solve the problem. Now that's a resourceful man. Did his initiative bear fruit? His men died, alas. But following their tracks led me to the creature who was leading the animals. It resembled a Nardaig Manaman, a mountain guardian. But it seemed like it was sick. Its skin was covered in stains and ulcers, and its behavior was different from the other guardians I've met. Where could it have come from? And why did it send all these beasts after us? I don't know, but someone must be behind all this. These attacks are too coordinated and too complex to be the work of some creatures. You are a man of great ingenuity. I have no doubt that you will solve this mystery. At any rate, I am extremely grateful for the help you have given us. You're welcome. Anything else? I must leave you. Naturally, Your Excellency. Constantine, my dear cousin, I'm always happy to see you. What news do you bring? We managed to solve the problem of the attacks on San Mateus. Really? So what was causing them? The city and its outposts were continuously being attacked by animals. These beasts were led by a large creature that strangely resembled a mountain guardian. This is the same creature which High King Vinbar turned into, isn't it? Exactly. Except it looked sick and it didn't act like the High King did. It was calling the animals around it and it seemed like it was transferring its disease to them before making them attack. I have never seen anything like it. 
And there's more. Hikmet was in a similar situation. Do you remember? Of course. Don't tell me that a Guardian was involved there as well. Yes. The Governor was convinced that the attacks were led by the Islanders. And yet they were being attacked as well. And it was by their side that I fought the creature. That time it was a Nardai Glenderman, a Beach Guardian. But it seemed just the sick. And it was also manipulating the animals to make them aggressive. So, it would be some kind of epidemic affecting the Guardians. I don't see what we can do about it. Actually, I think you've already done what had to be done by eliminating those that were threatening our neighbors. Perhaps. But I'm certain there's more to it than a simple epidemic. These beasts attack in a coordinated fashion, which requires an intelligence that they don't have. You're exaggerating, dear cousin. The attacks you thought were coordinated may just have been coincidental. You may be right, but I can't help thinking that someone is behind all this. Do you really believe that a Denegad would want to take over the island? Cousin, you know how much I respect you, but frankly, this doesn't seem very coherent. But I see it's already quite late. If you'll excuse me, dear cousin. Regrettably, I must leave you. Where are you going? Not very far, rest assured. But I have a small personal matter to take care of, you see. Don't be concerned. There's absolutely no risk. Use the opportunity to take some rest. You've really performed miracles recently. See you later. But why would he leave like that? God, do you know where my cousin is going? Sorry, Your Excellency. His Highness didn't tell me anything. You are one of his bodyguards, aren't you? I am, Your Excellency. But recently, it has been difficult to force His Highness to accept our presence. Recently? You mean this isn't the first time he's left without an escort? I... I'm sorry, Your Excellency. You better tell me everything. But I... Fine. I don't mean to be disrespectful towards him. But His Highness's behavior has been very... peculiar recently. He sleeps very little and goes out alone almost every night. And it didn't occur to anyone that I should be informed? Well, His Highness had specifically ordered us not to tell you about it. And where does he go? I thought the days when he used to go from tavern to tavern were over. He... he doesn't go to taverns, Your Excellency. From what I know, he... he goes outside the city. Where could he go outside the city? I've no idea. We saw him going north. That's all I know. Listen, I understand this matter is putting you in a difficult situation. You were supposed to protect my cousin wherever he went, but he refused and ordered you to keep your mouth shut. But Constantine is not just my governor. He's my cousin. I'm worried about him. He's already been abducted once when leaving the city. So, if you know anything else... I don't really know where he's going, Your Excellency. But I think I know where you could find out. When he doesn't leave the palace, he stays in his office for hours. He writes so much down in there that he could fill entire books. Here, I have the key. Take it. I hope you find His Highness and manage to make him see reason. I don't like this at all. What could he be doing outside every night? Normally, I would have said getting drunk at the tavern. But clearly, that isn't the case. I'm starting to believe that the revelations of Enon Mil Frichtemann had some truth to them. Let's rummage through his papers. We may find a clue.
has lost his mind for good. Now he's talking about killing people simply because they have seen him. We can't let him do this. The trees on your road always bear fruit. Thanks. You saved us. These beasts would have torn us to shreds. These animals were strange, as if they were enraged. Thanks again, Renaixe. I'm glad I could help you. And perhaps you can do me a favor in return. I'm looking for a young man, a Renaixe. But he looks a bit like an Onol Manawi. Someone like you? In some ways. But his marks are different, darker. He's talking about the crazy Don Agad. Indeed, that might be him. Do you know where to find him? No, we see him passing by around nightfall, but we don't know where he's going. He walks along the path, often followed by some beasts. He has a sinister look in his eyes. He scares me, so we stay hidden. And you do well to hide. I think he's the one who sent these animals to attack you. Do you have any idea how I could figure out where he's going? He could hide in the old house. He would see him passing by and could follow, couldn't he? You're right. If you take this path to the right, you'll reach an abandoned house. You can hide there. And from up there, you will be able to see the path perfectly. Thank you. You've been a great help. And stay hidden. You may still be in danger. Be prudent, Onol Manawi. I'll leave you alone. Kwa awalem seg. We can't be seen from the path. Let's wait here to see where Constantine goes. I see him. Then he's not alone.
Constantine, what are you doing? Cousin! You're here! I, I, I would have preferred that you learn all of this another way. To be able to reveal everything to you in better circumstances. But whatever power we earn, there are some things that escape us. I have no idea what you're talking about, but what are you doing here? I seem monstrous to you. I am well aware of that. But I promise to explain everything when the moment is right. Then you will understand. You will see. The temptation is so great to share all with you right now. You have done so much for me. You have given me so much. I haven't forgotten, believe me. But I still have more to do. Forgive me and have patience. Hold them back. But do not kill him for anything in the world. Constantine, come back and explain yourself. I think I taught this boy how to wield a weapon. And now he's throwing beasts at us. He's gone mad. It's the only explanation. But I don't understand. What he wants. Eternity. Strength. Power. It is what they all want. Those who take without looking beyond themselves. Like all those from the faraway lands. He wasn't like that. He couldn't care less about all that. Then it is the sickness. The brevity of his existence that terrified him to the point it changed who he is. You must stop him. Each time that he bonds, he destroys me a little more. And with me, the hope for a cure. And now it's my heart, my most sacred sanctuary that he covets. You must kill him. It is madness. The consequence of his folly, yes. Believe me, there is no other solution. Stop him, flesh of my earth, or there will be nothing left to save. I still can't believe this. I understand. You were raised with him. He is no doubt your closest relative, your best friend. But he has paled completely. And I would like that we do not run aground with him. We must learn more if we want to understand his plans and prepare against them. 
This hiding place he was talking about in his notes. We must find it. If in his folly he remembered just a small bit of what I taught him, then he shall warn his guard to be ready for us. We will need to be discreet. And find ourselves allies. You're thinking of all the creatures that he has perverted. A veritable army. Precisely. And against an army we will need soldiers. The natives will follow you because their god has ordered it. We might also be able to count on help from the Nort. We'll need to speak to their admiral. We should also be able to count on Sieglinde. Her troops will be all the more welcome. And of course, we can also go and find the Mother Cardinal, as well as Governor Burren. <sighs> what an absurd project. On the continent, they would brand us crazy, but not here. On an island where everything is possible, and all folly is accepted. Let us go. We need to put an end to all of this. Ah, de Sarde. I finally heard from my men. They told me what happened with the Devesps. Thank you for stepping in and freeing them. Without your help, they would probably be dead by now. Anyway, believe me, those Devesp vipers will not cross this sea unless in chains. But you didn't come here for me to congratulate you, did you? What can I do for you? I have come to ask for your help, Admiral. My cousin has been plunged into madness, and he apparently wishes to conquer the whole island. He took control of many creatures by reenacting rituals he learned from the islanders, and now he uses them to attack the cities and the villages of those he considers to be his rivals. A difficult situation, admittedly, but one that does not concern us. Who's in charge of the island is none of our business, De Sarde, and you know that. It actually does concern you. If my cousin takes control of the island, soon there will be no ports where your ships can berth. He's not looking for political influence. He desires power. Absolute power. I see. It's a decent argument. So what now? We must stop him at all costs. And for that, I will need allies. I intend to convince other factions to support me. But I was hoping I could count on the help of the Norts. Alas, even if I wanted to, I couldn't send you my men. They don't trust you enough to follow you and fight on land. Could there be a way to make them change their mind? Captain Reuben warned me that he suspected a member of his crew of being a spy. It is almost certain she sent secret navigation information to foreigners. Why ask me to take care of it? This is a very serious accusation. One that results in a member of the guild being expelled. 
The Norts are like a family, very connected, but also likely to carry resentment. I think an external view is required to be certain that there will be no bias. Anyway, their ship is anchored at New Serene. Your authority will allow you to get more answers than us. I see. What is the exact nature of the information that could have been sent? It's up to you to find out. But all the Noughts know how we navigate our ships. You've seen the techniques we use, and you know we want to keep them secret. I agree. Where can I find Captain Reuben? At the port in your town. You know his ship. It was Captain Vasco's before he landed. Very well. I will do my best. Even though time is running out. I expect nothing less of you. See you later, Desarde. What brings you here? The Admiral asked me to shed light on your little problem of indiscretion in your ranks. I see. I would be happy to answer any questions you have. You told the Admiral that you suspect one of your crew members. Indeed. The young apprentice sailor, Alba, a committed volunteer from Teleme. Ah, she only joined us a short time ago. But did you want to know anything else? What led you to these suspicions? Well, the girl's behavior. She was very eager at first, very willing, almost too much. And then, suddenly, she became nervous. She isolated herself and did not speak to others. She's a recent recruit, which inevitably raised some doubts about her vocation. Sometimes I saw her hanging around my cabin. My papers were often disturbed. And since we've returned to port, she's almost never on board. Uh, can understand my concern, but you should probably talk to the other members of the crew. They may know something else. Ultimately, your strong suspicion stems from the fact that she's sea-given. A recent sea-given. She did not join us as a child, but you know how rare volunteers are, especially from Teleme. Did you want to know anything else? Do you know what information she may have sent? I don't know exactly what you know about our navigation methods. Let's say that magic does not have much to do with it. I see. Well, of course she knows that too. She saw some of our machines on board. And by searching through my papers, she could get even more sensitive information. Did you want to know anything else? That'll be all, Captain. Thank you. Hey, happy to see you again. How have things been going for you since your crossing? Good, thank you. Even if I've got quite a list of errands to check off. Then straight to it. What can I do for you? I'm looking for a nought. A young woman going by the name of Alba. I know her. She joined our crew at the same time as our new captain. Did you try the tavern? Don't give me that look there. I've kept from the bottle since that story with Jonas, you know that. No matter. When we're at dock, there's nothing much else to do. It might be that little Alba went there to take a look. Anything else? I need to go. Farewell. Smooth sailing. Captain, delighted to see you again. We've missed you. Your Excellency, it's a pleasure. What can I do for you? We have a few questions to ask you, Flavio. I'm all yours, Captain.
Can you tell me anything about Alba? Well, I don't know her very well. She only joined our crew recently. But she pulls her weight. You can't hold that against her. You might say she shows a little too much zeal, even, at times. That being said, ever since we got here, I found her a little... distraught. You could even say nervous. Would you know where I could find her? No. I wouldn't. Where's she missed roll call? Well, I hope she didn't do something stupid. These committed volunteers... We never know if we can trust them. Anything else? I need to be off. Perhaps we'll meet later. Farewell, then. Your Excellency, I am so pleased to see you again. The pleasure is shared. Captain. Good day, Jonas. What can I do for you? I would like you to tell me anything you can about a member of your crew. Alba. She joined our party recently. But I like her already. She works hard and is full of courage. You know, she is one of those rare knots that joined of her own volition. And she did everything she could to become one of our own. Until we arrived here. She suddenly became distraught and frightened. It brought back memories. Do you know where I could find her? I'd like to ask her some questions. N no. I've not seen her for a while. Maybe at the tavern? She was playing cards there from time to time. Anything else, Your Excellency? I'm afraid I need to be going. Watch out for yourself. This does not help. The girl has changed her attitude. I agree. Maybe she had good reason. Lost at cards. Heartache. Homesick. We were told that she was sometimes at the tavern. We should take a look there. Fighting. We oh, can't well, let them get away with it. One more word. Let's see. Come on, gentlemen. Please calm down. Hey, you are guests here. Behave appropriately. Who are you to give us orders? That's true. You want to see how tough? Oh, you don't know who you're messing with. They're totally drunk. I doubt we can make them see sense. You better get out of here unless you want to end up in jail. Oh, he thinks we'll allow that to happen. On guard, sir! <laughs> On guard! A bit of poison on my blade. Let's go! Hello, Your Excellency. I hope you're having a pleasant time. I did not come to be entertained, but to find a young nought called Alba. She cannot be downstairs. She wouldn't have enough money to pay the entry fee. You should question the soldier sitting over there instead. He's a seasoned player, and he loves to deprive sailors of their money. Very well. Goodbye, soldier. Hey, look at that! <laughs> the upper crust coming to slum it at the tavern. Change your tone, soldier. You're speaking to the legate of the congregation. Oh, my apologies, Captain. I didn't know. How may I help you? Have you ever heard her talk about secrets or documents she would like to exchange? Are you asking me if she's a spy? No idea she told me nothing. But if that's why you're looking for her, I may have seen things that might interest you. I'm often mistaken for a drunkard, so they pay no attention to me. But I see everything. 
We're looking for a young Nort. She's part of Captain Reuben's crew. Yeah, I think I know what you're talking about. A girl who loses her pay with style. <laughs> but I don't know where she is. She looked sad last time I saw her. Didn't have her head in the game. Tell me what you saw. I'd like to tell you all that, but... <coughs> my throat's a little dry, my friend. Do you want to know anything else? We're looking for a young no- Yeah, well, I don't know. That'll be all, soldier. Thank you. What can I pour for you? I'm looking for a young nought. She goes by the name of Alba and sails on Captain Reuben's ship. I wouldn't know who that is. Why don't you go and ask that fellow over there? He often shares a bottle with the sailors. He might remember your nought. Anything else? Give me a bottle of your best drink. There you go. But be careful. Oh. Here you are again. Tell me what this... Well, returning late at night, I spotted a guy I'd seen before at the tavern. He often spent time with the Nort, and he was in the street, fiddling with a stone, looking suspicious. So, I took a closer look when he left. I thought he'd stashed money or something, but no. There was a box under the stone, but there was no gold inside, just papers. They were messages, and from the look of the guy, they couldn't be love letters. <laughs> now, I don't know how to read, so I couldn't understand what it was about, but maybe those were your secrets? Where is this hiding place? Cross the bridge at the exit of the town. On the left, look for the stone. The box is underneath. Thank you, soldier. My pleasure, friend. Do you want to know anything else? That'll be awesome. This stone must be the one the soldier told us about. Look, it hides a box. It's a dead drop. It's suspicious, but it doesn't reveal any secrets or who uses it. Well then, we'll have to catch whoever uses it red-handed. We can hide in these bushes and wait for someone to come. Perfect. We have a great view of the box from here. So, shall we wait here? That's it. Suspect in sight. He's only a messenger. We should follow him.
Well, gentlemen, what are you plotting? Fool! They followed us! I... thought I was careful. I'm the legate of the merchant congregation, and you have been caught plotting treason. So I suggest you talk. What do these messages contain, and what are they about? You're wasting your time. I, I, I won't say a word. Do you realize that you are suspected of espionage and conspiracy? Don't you think you better explain yourself? Wait! I, I don't want to end up in jail. It, it's not about the secrets of the congregation. Uh, let me explain. Some time ago, it was rumored that the secrets of the Norts were for sale. My country was interested. So I started exchanging messages as you've been doing. The Nort who was willing to give up these secrets demanded a fortune. He also wanted to become a citizen. But we were only at the negotiation stage. For the moment, uh, I have received nothing concrete. Just promises. Who is the Nort you're talking to? Oh, I've no idea. The messages were signed White Rose. But I doubt it's a real name. Very well. You seem to be telling the truth. Alba means white, Desarde, but it's a little unsubstantial. And give me the message in your possession before leaving. Very well. Here it is. Now, if you'll allow me, uh, I, I will leave the town. Your Excellency. So, what did you discover? There is indeed a spy among the Norts, but the spy's identity remains to be proven. Take this. I have recovered this note, which seems to suggest that your secrets have been offered to several buyers. The Alliance citizen we met did not win the bid. I knew it. My logbook has just been stolen, and of course Alba is missing. Do we really still need proof? This book must be found at all costs before Alba sells it. Your Excellency, can we count on you once more? I would like to help you, but this island is vast. How could I possibly hope to find it? Alba is from Teleme. She probably took refuge in San Mateus. This reduces the search area a little. What do you say, Your Excellency? This is a trail that deserves to be followed. I will keep you updated, Admiral. Find Fernando. Do you remember him? He should be. Unfortunate. 